Hey guys, and today I'm going to be showing you the easiest way possible to make a Skyblock server. First off, you want to go to the Minecraft page. Oh, the links will be in the description and grab the Minecraft server.jar. When that uh, downloads, you'll probably have to say keep file because Windows thinks it's a virus in Java. And then after that, you want to go over to the Skyblock free uh, page on the Minecraft forum. And at the bottom will be the download for it. After this all downloads, drag it all into a, fo uh, a folder and then we'll begin. Awesome, so now that's done, you want to drag it into a folder and uh, drag out the skyblock part and have the Minecraft part there also. So in a text document, you want to paste all of this text. This means that the server will start with one gigabyte of RAM and it won't have a GUI. So that's all it is, in a text document, save it. But then, when you save it, you want to save as, and it dot that. After you do that, run the bat file. You'll have to run this first before even touching the skyblock part of it. Then you need to go true in the Euler. And then after that, just run it one more time. After that's done, delete everything in the world file. And then go to your skyblock. Copy all of that and put it back in your world file. <clears throat> At this point, I would edit. Where is it? There we go. The server file. So to name it something you actually want it to be. So instead of a Minecraft server, Skyblock server, and this is where you also change the amount of players you have. Awesome, now we can just start it again, and it should all be right. Awesome, now that's done, let's go check on it. There we go, it's showing up in local servers. Awesome, so now that's done. All you need to do now is port forward your router so your friends can come join you. So I'll link to a place in the description where you can do that and all the resources uh, used in this video will be in the description.